Hey guys, I'm Dave Brooks here, and today I'm coming back at you with another haul video. And as you can probably clearly see from the figures in front of you, the haul included Vietnam War minifigures. Now, I did not get these directly from the Minifig Co. As you might note, these are much older Vietnam designs that they made uh, years ago. These are not recent ones. Uh, and essentially, I got it from somebody that I know on Instagram who had these for sale. He was selling off a lot of his TMC collection. So I was able to pick out some things that I liked to be able to get them. And that's, you know, that's essentially how I came across these guys. Uh, as you can see in front of you, I got four Vietnam War figures. Uh, the two in the middle are adorning or have flak jackets that they're wearing. The one on the far left has a flak jacket open, you know, kind of with his, his bare chest hanging out. And then the one on the right is a bandolier figure and he has sleeves, you know, short sleeves. Uh, that's a really big thing for me that I've been trying to collect. But anyways, let's take a closer look at each one of the minifigures uh, from this haul. So if we take a look at the bandolier figure first, if I can get him centered right here real quick. There we go. So what you can see is he has a bandolier running across the center of his body, along with a smoke grenade and then a regular grenade uh, on the left side of his chest. Uh, our right, his left, and then you, of course you can see two M16 pouches. And then if we flip around the figure, what we can see on the back is that his uh, bandolier strap continues, and then he has kind of just a regular knapsack and some canteens. Something interesting that I'd like to point out is that in contrast to some of the more recent Vietnam releases, what you can see on this is that there's a lack of back detailing on these older releases. Let me find a newer figure to demonstrate. So here's a newer Vietnam release figure. As you can see on his back, there's kind of like little folds in the cloth. At least that's what, you know, these lines are trying to represent. And essentially to me, that makes it look a lot more realistic. It kind of makes it look rumpled and used. Uh, so of course this is an older figure, so it's not gonna have that. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, you know, that's kind of a fact of this figure. In addition to that, I think the biggest advantage of this figure right here, as you can see, are these sleeve arms. Now, if I'm in being entirely honest, I'm not 100% if they are from TMC. I'm pretty sure they, that they are, but it is a possibility that they might be from someone else. They might be from CB or something like that. Uh, if you guys know for sure whether this is how the figure was sold, uh, I guess, you know, years ago from TMC with these sleeves arms, that would be great to know. You know, you can leave a comment and let me know. But other than that, I was really looking for this bandolier body for a while. I do have a few of them already in the collection, but it's always nice to add a rare fig, uh, especially from this Vietnam lineup that I've been trying to expand recently. I guess uh, the two figures that I can do side by side next are the two flak jacket figures, since they are very similar. Why don't we just do them together? So as you can see here, the figures look great. Uh, if you have been watching the Vietnam War mock series or you have seen some of my Vietnam collection, what you will know is that I already have a few of these guys, uh, a few of both variants, in fact, uh, that, you know, it's just one of my Vietnam figures that I think looks pretty good. So that's why I've, you know, I've essentially gone about to try and collect them uh, because they're very useful for things like uh, putting in M113s for driving, and then you can kind of use them in your Huey as crew. I think that those are kind of the two great uses for them. So as you can see on the front, uh, this guy has an open flak jacket, and then the guy on the right has a closed one. Uh, you will know that this, this head is a Citizen Brick head. I'm almost 100% on that. If, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm pretty positive that this head is from Citizen Brick. Now if we turn around the figures, as you can see, very simple back design, nothing very special, just kind of some, you know, cloth folding, as I said, some wrinkles in the back. That's really all there is, nothing very important to go over there. And finally, I'd say what we can consider kind of the highlight of this haul is this figure right here with, you know, his, his wide open chest rig. So essentially, as you can see, He's wearing a flak jacket, but it's open, and he kind of has this, <laughs> this hairy chest exposed. This is a very rare figure in terms of the number of people who are willing to part with it, so that's why I was so excited to see that he was selling it and that I was able to pick it up, because this is kind of something that I've been looking for for a while, and even though it's not 360 degrees, just having that print 
is very, very useful. So here is the rest of the figure, as you can see on the back of his body. Something that I actually didn't notice before is that he has this little text written here. Let's see if I can bring it close enough for you guys to see. I believe it says, War is Hell. There you go. But other than that, this was just, you know, kind of the highlight of the haul for me, the best figure. Uh, other than these guys, I will have some more stuff coming in from this collection that I bought. So keep an eye out for those videos. But for now, this is, you know, this is the end of this short little Vietnam War haul video. As I was saying, these are not recent releases, so don't go onto TMC's website and look for them now. You will not be able to find them. These are from a private collection that I was able to get a few of while he was selling it. Other than that, I have nothing. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all the normal stuff, and I'll catch you next time.